So who told who went back and told production that? Jucker. All right, so welcome back to the Cake Dish Podcast. I have a special guest, Miss Tina Key from yeah. Northwest TV, the Mint Side Chicks of Miami. How are you? Period. I feel good. I look good. You know, I'm just glad to be here. Indeed. Well, we're going to get into some things, but I kind of do want to give people an introduction to you, like outside of the drama and we're going to get to all that good stuff, but you are an artist. Um, I did come across some of your music, Cinderella, a few other ones. So how long have you been doing music? So I originally started music probably like 2016. Okay. But I was still, I was still dancing at King of Diamonds. So I really wasn't taking it as serious as I should have been. But me starting one of my first songs, I started 2016. Okay. And I know that you have done like different music videos and things with rappers. So you've been in kind of like the entertainment world for a minute. Is that kind of how you were introduced to the Now That's TV staff for the opportunity for the Mint? Um, I've been on off the porch for a while. Like mm -hmm. these are um, Now That's TV is a new company. So they were pretty much going for people who they felt had a platform already. Um, wow. Dom just happened to be one of those girls um, and, you know, she reached out to me. So, of course, I'm thinking as a friend, okay, I'm going to come look out, make your show pop, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, of course, we all see how that, but whatever, yeah. Okay, so you, you knew Jessica Dom before you got her. Right. Yeah. yeah. So like got I said, I used to work at King Diamonds. I'm originally from Memphis, so I went to Newberry, Southwind, like just a couple other schools. Like, I'm really from the East, you get what I'm saying? So... Um, I started doing videos, left, I was in Miami, a situation happened, and um, I, it was based on survival skills, I had to get some stuff together, you know what I mean? And um, being a young mom, like, I was just going back and forth, going back and forth. Um, I was working at a club called The Office, I let them know my situation, and um, basically I kind of grew from out of The Office, pretty much, got my body done. Mm -hmm. Off of um, Aaron Hernandez, a situation happened. He came to the club, and um, I ended up getting my body done from the office. So that was that was dope. <laughs> and okay. I started doing my music videos and really uh -huh. just tapping to backing into the music. So mm -hmm. a lot of people been telling me like, "Oh, you need to do music," and I was like, "Nigga, I don't rap. I trap. You know what I mean? Like I was one of them girls. Like I don't right, have to be right. outside. Like I'm I'm kept anyway. So it was just like." You know, people were infatuated with my style, my swag, just everything. So, hmm. uh, she was an older, like, she was one of the older girls. Gotcha. So, okay. I'm not going to lie, growing up in Miami, after, like, you know, coming from Memphis and the ratchet and the turned up, like, you was... Like, to see a woman on her boss shit and, you know, getting money, looking good, like, th that's, like, what, sh that was ideal, you know what I mean? So, um, I just felt like she, I, 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 I felt highly of her. I thought highly of her mm -hmm. just because she was one of the ones I felt that made it, doing her own thing, blah, 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 you know? So, um, I danced with her, not, like, we never danced in the same pal. Like, I think she was, like, on her way out. And I was, like, gotcha. one of the new last generation so my generation was the last generation at king of diamonds and then it closed her the original king of diamonds so my name was star so like yeah you you might be in your bag but you see the young ones coming in you know what i'm saying right. so she knew what time it was when it, when she saw me you know my energy how i was coming like but i was like I was empowering the, the women. Like, I was always a girly girl. Like, girl, you could do this. Let's do this together. Don't, you know what I'm saying? The motivator. So, it was like some years went by, and I was hosting a club with DJ Holiday mm -hmm. at Onyx. And I saw her. She was at the bar. She was at the bar drinking or whatever. She wasn't working, but I knew she was trying to catch some, you know, catch up on some, get a little money for the night. Okay. So I told a girl, come to my section. Turn up. This is after King of Diamonds had after shut down. King of Diamond days. Yeah, okay. after King of Diamonds. I guess. So uh, she came to the section. She was telling me she's going to be in town for a little while. And I was like, okay, well, my room is at such and such. 
pull up. So she ended up coming. Hell, she ended up coming and not leaving. Okay. She Back ended up room. coming to my room. Okay. Yeah, we was in Atlanta. Um, she ended up coming to my room, and I think she stayed with me probably like a week. Like, baby girl was down bad during this time. And she was letting me know, like, oh, I'm about to get on this show. I got X, Y, Z going on, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gaming her, me and her in the room, you know, popping it. Hey, you need to come like this with Rashida because, you know, you rap, you know. You know, I'm just gaming her. So I ended up telling her because she wasn't really, like, I was paying for the rooms, and I was on my way back to Miami. So I okay. told her, like, hey. This, get on the Greyhound, go back to Memphis when the show come out, boom, pop out do your big one, you know what I'm saying? Loving hip hop days. Yes. Okay. Yes, loving hip hop. She did that, you know, because she got dropped from Flow Flo Rider. Like, okay. That's how she got at the club. So, okay. when I saw her, I'm like, you know, what's up? What's catching up? I'm thinking she good, she good or whatever. Gotcha. But, told her to get on the Greyhound, she went back to Memphis, came and, you know, at that point, she acted like she didn't know me. You know, it was still cool. I was still congratul c congratulating her from the far side. You know what I mean? Like, girl, do your big one, blah, blah, blah. So we would casually talk here and there, here and there. Mm -hmm. And a guy asked me to do, to ask, he asked for an artist for a music event, right? Okay. It's Carlos Brown. Um, he's one of a big promoter in Atlanta. And I gave him her. I was like, hey, I think you should book Dime or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. she, you know, she's trying to do her music thing. This was the time I think she was just getting off the marriage boot camp. Like, you know, it's been a while. Okay. okay. So yeah. she was already into the reality TV show. Y'all was still keeping in touch. Yeah, yeah. Here and there. What's up, girl? On Instagram here and there. You know, blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I told her, I was like, he going to book you for X amount and X amount. Don't take it. You know what I'm saying? She took it. No tea, no shade, but I just feel like she deserved more. So whatever. Me and her talked about a song. And the price that she was trying to tell me, I was just like, baby girl, that don't add up because you're not really doing the music on Love Hip Hop. Like, people don't really know you as artists. So why would I, when we got Glorilla, we got Glossiana, and so many other girls that I could do a song with and really make streams. You know, if you want to be, you know, strategic about things. But, you know, no Tino Shay. I support everybody. So she had her show, long story short, hit me up, 18, still rapping. Keep in mind, I end up coming back to Memphis 2021, helping um, Chris Dunn at this club called V-Live. Okay. So this is what upset me about this bitch because she make it seem like she tried to put me on when it's other girls in the industry that really put you on like one person on my name is Rini Rucci that's a stand up top woman like I fuck with her on every level like she just genuine she real and she really helped the women like she see what you the potential she you know and she fuck with you so basically one of my friends he's a promoter and he book artists so okay. I was in Memphis working with a, a club promoter to bring the artists over there. Mm -hmm. And she the one told me, you know, hey, you should be doing this team, you should be doing it. And she was one of the first girls I booked. So if you, if just could, you get upset, it's just like, but you all now that TV make it seem like you made me and it's, it did, blah, blah, blah. It's just like, girl, yeah. you, I've been doing this before you. At the end of the day, like you have certain friends that, while you're on your journey, like, hey, I see what you're doing. Let me throw you a bone or let me do this, do that. Like, that's what it was. And that's what I thought she was doing for me because I fucked with her back in the day. So I, I really thought that she was on some throwing me a bone. Hey, sis, I see you back in the city. You still rapping? I got a show. I thought it was that with us. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter, like, how long you have talked to a bitch. If y'all on this type of wave and y'all fucked with each other before and y'all got the same frequency as far as like the goal like i just felt like you know you needed to do your big one and you used me and it flipped it fired back on you period okay now let's talk about the mint a little bit because i feel like all of that leads leads us to the mint right so with the mint i like i said i know that you're an artist but i don't feel like other people really acknowledge you as an artist so we're going into the i just feel like with me i'm an entertainer Okay, so you feel like you're an all-around entertainer. But even with all that, around. I feel, even with that, I feel like you going into the show, I don't know if people actually got to see that. Now, no, is that they what made me look like the black sheep. 
So when you were going into the show, though, mm -hmm. what did you want to what did you want to get out of the mix? Well, from her reaching out, I'm thinking it's a music show. You know what I mean? Okay. You knew I wasn't dancing and you hit me up to rap. It was certain times in the um scene and the like the whole season at the house, I would stop her and be like, yo, what the fuck going on? Ready to go. Like, bitch, you told me we finna do this, do that. Bitch, you give me jump, have me in fights. Like, what's tea? You know, so they edit all that out. But um, originally, I thought it was a music show. I was ready to do the music, period. Right. Yeah, and I, I don't think... I mean, we we obviously got to see all the ladies, all the talent do the uh, cypher. Everybody did really good, but... I killed that shit, and the bitch still didn't want to give me my credit. Like, that's some fucked up shit. You get on a show, the beginning of your fucking intro, you say you know Tina Key and Rosé the longest, and you show none of that. So, okay, going... It was like I was your fucking... P puppet in the fucking show like yeah do this she'll she'll go just because she fucked with me like it was it was given that you think it was given like yes it was given that i'm younger than her she knew like you know what i'm saying like it's just like people don't want to give you your moment they gotta shit on you they gotta do this embarrass you all this other shit like i knew i was gonna you know, say i told them before we got the fight i said yo i got a shit you know what I'm saying? This was the first fight straight up on my mama. I'm tell look, I'm kicking the bitch like, hey, I got a shit. I'm thinking we're finna stop production. Hey y'all, hold on to my Tennessee gotta go use the bathroom and then come back square up, baby. Listen, that was that's now that CV like for real, for real. Like ain't no yeah. stopping. Y'all gotta tie y'all hair, shit, use the restroom, none of that, baby. Get in the paint. Like, so, were you, how, how did you feel watching that scene? Like, were you embarrassed when you watched it back, when you watched the show back? I just thought it was funny. Like, I came for the viral moments at the end of the day. Like, yeah. I wasn't trying to be the most sexiest in the room. I wasn't trying yeah. to be the most boss bitch in the room. I was just trying to be in the room and be funny. Yeah. All that low vibration every day. Like, no, bitch, I'm trying to turn up, bring some excitement. Then it was like, bitch is trying to, they see how the camera drawn to me and then they want to come to you. Why you ain't talking to me? Just conjuring up fake beef. And it was just like getting whack. Like, like, was damn, is it a like it was giving all of that. Tenneke. I did want to ask you that because it does, it did appear that you were kind of like one of the villains of the house. Um, Why do you think like maybe the girls turned on you? Personality. Mm -hmm. Stardom people notice all that, especially when you genuine and you and you vulnerable with the people. You get what I'm saying? Like if you letting the people know straight up, they can respect it. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And your fans love to grow with you. They love to say, "Man, I seen this bitch from here to here to here." You get what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I just feel like being real with my people works for me every time. I've never came in the industry and has to do no snake shit. That's why I was so flabbergasted and drawn. Like, damn, why me? I'm your biggest cheerleader. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride for you. You gonna say we ain't lose a job, bitch? I'm gonna give you a show. Anytime I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. Especially out of love. It ain't no malicious. None of that with me. You get what I'm saying? I'm a beautiful woman. Every time I wake up, I've never had to hate on nobody. So that was that for me. You running around telling production, oh, I remember how Tina Key used to look at all this other shit down. Like, why are you so on my body? So who told who went back and told production that? Jessica. Like, oh yeah, she used to be that girl, and then she get on there talking about, oh, I don't fit the aesthetics. What is the aesthetics if your goal is to get women out the club? It don't matter if they big, small, midget, indifferent, whatever. Like, the goal is to get them out the club. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was and then it was like, we telling people, like, she asked us, how did we get in the club when we did the one-on-one? -on -one? They added my whole shit out. Made it seem like, oh, Jessica, you just give me so much hope and all this other shit. I told her the situation that I went through, how I got in the industry, mm -hmm. as far as dancing and stuff like that, they edited it all out. So, I mean, at the end of the day, they, she, 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 saw, she saw it before it came out. She knew how she wanted me to look and she wanted me to be beneath her. Like they said, people want you doing good, but not better than them. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, this is my show, but Tina Key, you can't be the star now. Both of you ladies have fans in your own right. Mm -hmm. And 
there are going to be people who are like, well, she put you on her show and like you're ungrateful. Like, what do you say to those but, people? But it's not even that I was ungrateful. It's that the snake shit was going to be seen regardless. I was already letting them know I wasn't fucking with shit. The show had haven't aired and I was already still pissed off like because I knew the fans wasn't gonna fuck with it period yeah. and if you go back and literally how can you say oh I've known this person and this person and you allowed them to get jumped in their sleep I would never respect you for that and you're in the house I can't respect you for that and then not to mention but before the show come out you're calling me every day at your number right now you calling me every day. We talking on the phone. Girl, don't worry. You know, Mondays I used to dread when love and hip hop. You know, you you know, trying to gain me. Like, don't worry about that shit. People don't talk and blah, blah, blah. But you get on your platform and don't say nothing. When the episode dropped, you didn't defend me not one time. No tea, no shade. But this situation could have been like a, um, I was asleep. I don't know if Shaquilla Robinson that got jumped in Mexico or whatever like that. She got jumped. She got hit in, in the neck. You get what I'm saying? Hmm. I was asleep. And when you sleep, that's literally unconscious. So you think... That shouldn't have never happened. All the girls that was from Memphis, my room was upstairs, Jessica room was upstairs, and the, the other bitch gorgeous, all them was upstairs. And at the house at the time when the girls came, so why y'all didn't wake me up to at least let me know, hey, Go, go, go. These bitches about to come jump you. Wake up, bitch. Nobody oh, said anything. Whose idea do you think it was to jump you? I don't know. When I came back to the streets, they said she known for doing shit like that. So, Je the host, Jessica Dom, you think she might have? I just feel like she wasn't against it. She didn't send nobody home. She didn't fight nobody. You, even now to this day, you get on your platform and say, Oh, Sukiana said they hate what 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 y'all did to that girl. You know, they hate, you know, the fans hate you jumped that girl, but you sit up here somebody, but I'll beat your ass. So like, mm -hmm. that's so fucking crazy. Like, are you on my side or what? So when she, obviously we all seen that part, and then um I know she Let me, tell you something. Let me show you something. Hold on one second. Listen. The bitch gave me three dime dollars. I don't know if you can see it. What three is, dime dollars. Whose face is that? Face it's her face. Okay, so is that was that like a prize or something for the I show? Was this girl, I fucked with this bitch. It wasn't like you know what I'm saying. So I was disappointed. But wait, what is that? I was more so hurt and disappointed <laughs> because okay, like at the casting call, light skin okay. Keisha, drama boy, and her was giving out dime dollars. So whoever had the most, you know, they would get in the house or, or whatever, okay. the or whatever. So I end up having like three or four of them before I got in the house. So bitches was already intimidating. You get what I'm saying? Okay, I see. Okay, I'm like, what is, what is that for? Okay, so, so I was hurt. I was like, damn, not you. Like, not you, kid. Like, come on. And then it was just like, you didn't defend me. You said on green screen, like, that was not right. That was not right. But what about when you were in the house? Green screen is after. After the show is done, then you go to green screen and talk about each segment and what happened and stuff like that. You said that on green screen just to be politically correct. And that's not right. You should have been jumping in the paint, getting up with me with them hoes, period. Like, oh, y'all want to jump? Y'all want to jump, bitch? We could have ran it with all them hoes in the house. I still would have had your back. And guess what? You threatening me, playing on my phone. This shit done became a legal matter. And you sit up here talking about, oh, you, you going to be mad because you ain't going to be on my next show. No, bitch, you want me to be on your next show just like you wanted me to be on that show. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? She see me, side chicks in Miami. Oh, bitch blew up. So, but I have to go for us to get out the club. It's so contradicting. Like, so what would you? I mean, what what do you think? Well, I mean, we all watched it. I obviously don't think it was right that you were that you were jumped. I guess I really couldn't understand, and I think a lot of viewers couldn't really understand what the real issue with you were. Yes, you were loud. Yes, you were rambunctious. <laughs> That's me. Like yeah. everybody was. I feel like everybody was popping their stuff, and you know. Thought they were the baddest chick, as you, but, but rightfully so, as you should. 
Um, do you think maybe her, like she didn't really want to get involved because she is the host and she had to stay neutral? Fer Ferrari is the host of her new show. Mm -hmm. She fought. Mm -hmm. This now that CV, this not love and hip hop where you throw a drink and security come. You get what I'm saying? Like you really got to get the feel. Mm -hmm. At least I got in the field. Like, yeah, I know they, they say, oh, Tiki, you don't fight for real, you like him. But guess what? I'm I'm going to defend myself. I'm going to stand up for what's right each and every time. When me and Wes got in a fight, I wasn't in intending to fight Wes. I actually liked it, Wes. But it was other people telling Wes to do her big one on me just because the cameras were, you know, trying like, oh, well, Tiki, she feeling bothered. Let's go follow her. You get what I'm saying? Oh, Half of the time, they was... When they was doing scenes downstairs, taking shots, shaking ass, I was upstairs in my room. Call me when we go rap. So you were isolated from the girls a lot of the time? Yes. Why? And the whole season still somehow got all Tenneke in it. So when you, why did you keep yourself separate or was that a choice from production to like keep y'all? No, that was my choice. I didn't come for it. I came for her to give her a show and rap. That's it. This mm -hmm. bitch had me working out every day. Mm -hmm. She said, oh, Tenneke, you not, how you gonna be big and, and rap? Shit, just like Jill Scott, just like fucking Lizzo and, mm -hmm. and everybody else. The fuck? Who says that? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, it's a lot. I guess it's a lot. That I think it's, it's a just lot. Just like the brat, Miss Yelly, and so many other motherfuckers. I think it's a lot that we didn't see, but do you think kind of keeping yourself isolated from the girls made them dislike you a little more? Mm -hmm. But you didn't do like the twerking and, you know, kind of like the social stuff. You was, it seemed like you wanted to just be strictly business. So right. do you think that well, was maybe an issue? You know what? It could be and it couldn't be because I don't want to, I'm I'm like this all the time. I'm such a good person. I don't want to show people that off the rip. You get what I'm saying? I don't want to be in the room and be like, you could do this, you could do that the whole time. Bitch, like, yeah, we finna jump you hoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't be in those spaces. So if I don't feel love where I'm, I'm gone. You get what I'm saying? I know what I bring. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... You to know this love me shit come up in the room. Hey bitch, let's take a shot. You good? You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, girl, I'm good. What y'all doing down there? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I'm a southern girl, so it ain't never been, you know. Okay, so uh -huh. we just have the show. We're done with the show, and we didn't get a reunion, unfortunately, because of you know <laughs> things. Because Cindy Key said so. No, I'm just playing, but um. <laughs> We didn't get a reason. Just, we didn't get to say your part, but it seems like a lot has happened since the show. So, where did this fallout come from? Like after the show, the fallout came when the episode dropped. When the the last episode, or just but, no, when the um jumping episode dropped. Okay. Keep in mind, before the before that episode dropped, I was with her in Atlanta for for a book it she did mm -hmm. with some now that's TV girls. Okay. So up until that episode of me getting jump drop, mm -hmm. we we been friends because she was supposed to get on her platform and say dumb girls was wrong for jumping to the key. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She okay. sat in that house. Did nothing. She wanted me to defend her when other stars on that's TV are defending Tennessee. She's telling me to tell them take justice for Tennessee out of their bio. Why would I tell them that? I got receipts, text messages of her saying, uh, get on this whole Queen D live. I was like, who is that? I researched the girl. Queen D is one of one of the most funniest girls on now that's TV. And she was okay. like, defend me like, yeah, justice for Tenneke, that shit's fucked up, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, thank you, girl. That's like, like that's what I'm talking about. Jessica sitting up there telling me to tell her to take it down. Talking about she dick riding on the show. Girl, this girl been on so many shows before your show. So I'm going to read what she said. And I want you to respond to this directly. Okay? Okay. Um, And this was the fight scene. It says, I don't appreciate this. I did this show to give opportunities to women who come from the same background as me. I know there's 13 women in one house. There's bound to be some drama, but this was lame and I don't respect it. 
there was only so far I could run the cameras back that night. But when I saw the episode Saturday before it aired, I couldn't believe it and was heartbroken all over again. If I knew this was being planned, I would have put a stop to it immediately and handled things accordingly. But they didn't give me the option. So I'm giving them an option. Um, Lil, well, okay, well, yeah. Whatever that means. Um, but it was in the house. Anybody can say, oh, after watching this, this hurt my heart. And mm. I'm just so hurt they did this to Tenneke. But mm -hmm. you're in the house. The mm -hmm. rumbling was by your door. I'm literally trying to get out of my room to go to your door to tell these hoes to stop fighting me. Like, what the fuck is going on? I'm sleep in the room, sleep. Mm -hmm. Because we were supposed to go do a, a, a event or something. We were supposed to do a, go somewhere. And the girls went to go do green screen. We stayed at home. I ate, went back to sleep because every day I was working out. So by the time those bitches got up, I was already going back to sleep. Gotcha. Call me. Yeah. I was I'm waking up eight o'clock every morning until the season ended. Gotcha. So them bitches drinking all night till four or five o'clock in the morning. I'm already up. Mm -hmm. So that's another to add on to what you were saying, how I was isolated sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as the other shit, you in the room. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to your door. Queen is defending, standing in front of your door. Rose ain't behind that door. So, I mean, behind her. So it's like, girl, you hear this at your door. And you said it's, it was happening for so long you had to edit it out. Yes, it was. I was getting jumped for a long time. So where were you? Mm -hmm. So, because after the fight, after the fight aired is when she put that post up. So you, you don't feel, I guess, like that was retribution enough like she should have went live and just plainly put it out that was wrong period. she should have fought she should have sent somebody home she just said she had so many other ways of handling that we went to brunch the next day right it was mother's day you get what i'm saying she's talking about go fight the bitches at the brunch why would i do that and i got one eye open like who finna do that you finna help me you finna fight with me bitch like because you were supposed to do that last night you put your hoodie on and your motherfucking scully like you finna get in the front, like you finna get in the paint. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, yeah, I guess I, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that's what everybody thought you was gonna do. They wanted you to give us a show, baby. You didn't give us no show. They, I guess that, that you know, since you know Tennessee a lot, let's pick on Tennessee. Let's see if we get just get just get riled up. So after that, it's either she planned it or production planned it, and I just don't think if she was really. Hurt by that, she would have sent somebody home or reacted how in the house she should have. Mm -hmm. So let's fast forward to today because this was, I mean, this was like a year ago, right? This, this was a this was quite a minute ago that this was so, yeah. this was May, a year ago. May yeah. it will be a year. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming up on a year, and it seems like y'all are still having issues. And she's still blowing up my phone. So you sent me a screenshot <laughs> that I, I looked at with a bunch of uh, private calls. So what what is the issue now? First of all, who are those calls from? Who do you think you're supposed to got legal. I can't even do okay. too much about it. Well, it what, I guess what can you tell me? Like, hmm. like you say, it is a legal matter. So we don't want to go there, but generally speaking why is it why are y'all still into it she's still know? talking about me mm -hmm. like if you gonna be mad at network be mad at network stop trying to put me in there for clickbait because you know i'm gonna say something mm -hmm. because that's not right i'm still mad at you for the jumping bitch and then you wanted somebody you know you got you was just out with them for your birthday Mm -hmm. So why you didn't mention your reunion then? You was on the PJ with them promoting the damn show. Why you didn't talk about your reunion then? Only when you saw us doing other shit is when you gave a fuck about your reunion. You had the chain at your house. You still pro you probably ran ar run around your house with the chain on. Girl, get up off them chains. Like, mm -hmm. that's my chain, to be honest. <laughs> Were you the so winner? Shit in that house, literally, girl, that's my chain. Drop it off. 
I don't even want that shit because I know you want it. Because let me tell you something. If you really cared about giving that chain away, you get on your live right now and say, hey, y'all, I just, I'm going to meet the uh, winner of the, um, the mint right now. Just get on their chain and then whenever the 10,000 come, I'll send that. I'm going to mm. start with this. Mm -hmm. So what, what do you, what do you want to see happen? Like when the smoke settle, what would you like to have happen? I mean, I just don't give a damn. Leave me alone. Mm -hmm. I just don't want no ties with you. Like, for real, for real. I don't want to do no song with you. Like, mm -hmm. I no, it ain't that. I don't want you. We ain't finna link up. Mm -hmm. Talk okay. about it. Like, it's really done. Like, it's really, really done. I'm over it. Because guess what? She'll do me like that once. She'll do that again. Mm-hmm. So what if she come apologize and offer you a, a nice little bag to be on another show? It's still it's a pile like of lie, a pile of lies. I don't need to pile of lie. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. I mean, I know what I bring, and it's just like I'm not gonna dim my life for somebody else who clearly don't, you know, shits mm. on me. Mm. She told me that Rose. Uh, she told me Trina want to throw dog shit on Rose. So, shit, I was trying to shit on the bitch. <laughs> like, come on, girl. You talk so much shit about everybody. Like, you so lame. And then you sit up here and get on live talk about me. It ain't that. I'm just going to be quiet. No, it don't work like that. You're what? wrong, bitch. Yeah. You know you're wrong. Yeah. Who who are you cool with from the show that was on your cast? On that cast? Mm -hmm. um, I would say Anya for show. That's my onion booty. That's my girl. Um, <laughs> okay. Who else? That's my me. Like, me and I used to dance together before the show. So it's like, you know, it's deeper than, you know, the look cast and TV shit. It's like, we supposed to genuinely have each other back. Mm -hmm. Um, I dance with YSL. Like, I used to dance with them girls. Um, But as far as, like I said, who I talk to, I'll be checking Black Page here and there. Like, I communicate with Wes because she was the only one that really got on her plan platform was like, man, yeah, I'm young. They got me hyped up on some shit. You know, I should have never spoke on her baby, period. I so I respect that. Me and I her talk. Her. Yeah. So um, shout out to Wes and Anya for sure. Big Anya. Okay. Fair Everybody enough. else can eat a dick. Mm -hmm. Oh, now you got it. You're on another show. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Now That's TV. You get upset. I got your girl. Congratulations. Oh, period. So, Congratulations. Like, you can't stop this shit with a plan B, bitch. Like, you should have, you would have did better fucking with me. Period. It's giving you sad, you sad, you at home thinking about the shit you did, these folks coming for your ass. And that's just, it's life. So what is next for Tim? Because I don't want you to be uh known just for I got like, new music dropping, okay? Yes, that's what I want to hear. Like, cause I was looking for your music and I found a handful of songs, but I'm like, I know. I'm gonna give some it. real good new shit. And this gonna put some okay. bitches in their feelings. This gonna put I'm not just talking not about me. one person, I'm just speaking <laughs> to the audience. Like, hey, mm -hmm. y'all finna get a different different me, you know? It's time. No diss tracks, though. Uh, shout out to <laughs> Lil Lodi, okay? It's given on the way. The song call is given, period. So y'all already know how it is. I'm going to tell the sum up with that. It's given. <laughs> However you think a bitch feeling, you know what I'm saying? It's given. So when when can and we? My other song call is it's called I'm going to teach you. Oh, let me show you. Let it's me show given, you. And I'm going to show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Yep. So when when are you dropping these? Summertime for show. By the summer for show. Yeah. So are you doing just like a two pack? Are you giving them a whole mixtape or like? No, I, I'm just gonna be dropping singles, and then I'm gonna eventually get them an EP. Something real crazy. But okay. right now, I just need to let y'all know like who the fuck y'all was dealing with. So I gotta remind them. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this big shit. Okay. So one last question. Are you, now that you're, you're in the TV, you're in the reality TV space, you're here now. Are you worried about like having another situation like the Mint where 
you could get jumped or something like that could happen to you again. Well, now I just hit first, ask questions later. Okay, <laughs> all that talking and shit I was doing at first, but I'm, we done. <laughs> Girl, I'm sorry. Give me a hug. You ain't mean to, you was trying to swing on her. Oh, okay. I'm just listening. <laughs> Reflex. Okay, baby. I'm hitting ass later. The wig can come off. All that, baby. So, I ain't doing this. Oh, on mm -hmm. my own. Ain't no sucker punching this one. <laughs> Fair enough. I feel like you were more upset about the jumping than the shitting on the flow part. Yeah, I was upset about the jumping. Yeah. My okay. The shit on the floor was viral. It was yeah, funny. You just laughing that off. Like you wasn't. I'm a comedian. I love to laugh. One thing I mean, like, that's what was my day going. Uplifting people and laughing. Like, I like that shit. That's a vibe. Well, I'm excited for you. I'm happy for you. And I got a new, my show coming soon. I'm putting some more work in. Y'all yeah, let's, let's hear about the show. Let's hear about your show. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna do my own shit. I don't know if it's Tinnaki looking for love or Tinnaki, you know, <laughs> on some comedy shit. Like, but I'm, like I'm Tineke getting... looking for love. What Tinnaki looking for love? What what type of man does Tinnaki like? Because I seen one, of, I seen one of your lives, and you was like, you got you a sugar daddy and this, this, and the third. So, what type of man? If you were to do Tinnaki looking for love, what what type of man would it have to be? Well, I'm not just gonna say it could, it's just a man. Like, I I have fun. I have fun. okay. I have fun. Okay. I've 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 dated. So yeah, I like women sometimes. Next week I might like niggas. You know, it just varies. <laughs> <laughs> it just nail I don't know. It just varies on what I, what outfit, what hairstyle. I don't know. Okay. I think that's why this bitch on my body like that. Cause you know I got that. <laughs> no, <I> just <laughs> but for real, I like that. like that in the messages, Tennessee. Uh, say it again. Something like that in those the screenshots that you was seeing. Yeah, and it's like, girl, why is we even talking like that? You a married woman now. It just oh, are you trying to suggest y'all used to date or something? Uh we used to walk around naked, but dating is a little reach, you know what I mean? Okay. I just feel like, you know, yeah, she, she on that, you know, she like pussy more than she like deep so. Everybody know that she up there on love hip hop. She out in a vibe, girl. Shut up. Yeah, I don't want y'all to be going at it on live again. <laughs> that was a lot. Well, girl, thank you. I enjoyed this. I'm, You're so dope. Listen, I'm happy that you kind of got it off your chest. You told your part because from the outside looking in, it's you know you can assume a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, and I don't think. You said a lot recently, but it still seems like a lot is going on. So mm -hmm. I hope it ends well with you too. I would like to see y'all reconcile, but that's just the that's just me. Mm -hmm. I feel like you guys mm -hmm. got that, but stay tuned for this the motherfucking music and seeing TV on your motherfucking TV screen soon. Period. <laughs> I had a good time with you, girlfriend. Yes, thank you for joining the Cake Dish Podcast and we will see you girls soon.